Well, hello there, and thanks for coming by and having tea with Linda and Spencer. Guess what? It's day number eight for our T Forte Advent calendar for the 2023 season. Hang on, we'll be right back. All right, Spencer, for day number eight. Ocho. Day number eight. The Ocho, ESPN. The Ocho, this. It's a wild theory, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. Can you please find us day number eight in our T Forte advent calendar for 2023? Well, I was just staring at the bottom up. I was just right there. So. Raspberry Ooh. ganache. Ooh, I like a good ganache. I'm kind of excited. All right, this is a. <laughs> okay, so as an aside, I have uh, bifocal toric contacts because um, I have astigmatism and I'm over the age of forty, so I have I, I have a lot in my eyeballs. And I had RK surgery many, 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 many moons ago before LASIK was even a thought. And so it's, my vision has not ever been really great since I've hit the, the magical age of 40. So when I first looked at this to see what kind of tea it was, I swear it said diabetic tea, <laughs> but it's a black tea, so you know, shame on me. All right, so uh, our raspberry ganache is a black tea, a fruit forward blend with sweet chocolate and juicy raspberry. Do not microwave infuser. Um, for black teas, how long do we steep? For black teas, uh, we mm. we steep for three to five. That has an interesting smell to it. it smells like raspberry. Um, oh, Rimo tea. Okay, I, I guess I'll I'll go with that. Rimo tea. All right. How long do we steep? Three to five. Three to five. All right. Hey Siri, set a timer for four minutes. Oh, you filled that full. Yeah, I did. Five minutes. Starting now. This is your first time with the channel. Thank you very much for spending some of your busy Advent season with us. My name is Linda. I am a hot tea addicted, porcelain loving potter who's obsessed with anything and everything that has to do with tea, Disney, and my little Rim Rim. Oh, this is Remy. He is, let's see, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. He is... December. Oh, he's nine months old. Ugh. Um, our lovely English cream, Minnie Dots and Maddie, her and Frodo had this lovely little bundle of joy. <laughs> Loud. Uh, back in March, he was born at Disney. Um, and so the husband named him Remy after his favorite Pixar movie, Rat Patootie. Um, and Remy is just the, he is, he is just the love of my life. And I have a, and I have corrupted his beautiful name. Yes. <laughs> Spencer has renamed Remy Rimoti Chalamet because he's just this <laughs> cute little porcelain prince <laughs> that has... Just, he's got the best attitude. We have no idea if that's how, you know, the the namesake is. Timothy Chalamet? Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> but Remy is just wonderful. He is, he is and just... And he wants back up. ...the greatest little puppy ever. Um, he gets on with all the pug weenies. Um, they view him as part of the pack, and... Um, Spot, the Spot Spot, who the was the, he was the runt of the pug weenie litter. Um, we, Spencer, because Spencer was the only one who would help me, we had to tube feed poor little Spot um, until he could eat solid foods. Um, and it was touch and go for a while because he was so little. Um, but Remy and Spot are like BFFs. Wherever one is, the other is close by. It's it's just amazing. Um, but we we have a a pack of dogs. We have a lot of dogs. Um, Against our will, most of the time. It is very loud at my house. Rambunctious. 
Definitely. And we haven't had <laughs> guests over a lot. Boisterous. Because the dogs are very off-putting, <laughs> to say the least. Um, and, and they're very protective. They are extremely protective. Even though... Even though they fight a lot amongst themselves. Um, it's, yeah, it, it's an interesting life that we have. It's very bloviating most of the time. Ooh, nice 50 cent word there, Spencer. I think I used it right. I don't know. I've never heard that word before. Oh, and there's Remy barking. That's Matt. Oh, there's Maddie. I swear they sound exactly alike. Hey, Siri, stop timer. So, our raspberry ganache tea. It's, it's pumped up decently, I guess. It's a delicious color. Um, it is. It's a car. It's a caramel. It's it is a caramel color. Um, it looks like it has particulate. It is not quite clear. Uh, you can see through it, but you know it's kind of obscured. Um, the smell is oddly enough. Ugh. It smells like a raspberry ganache. So, it smells gross. I. It smells like raspberries. It smells like chocolate. It smells gross. Hello, um, Casper. No, not right now. Hello, Scout. Not right now. Remo T, not right now. Loons, not right now. Lava, anytime. Nope. Wow. Rejected my... <laughs> rejected. Wow. Um, <laughs> that is really, really interesting. Um, so raspberry is a taste that is left in my mouth, but the first taste is that of the chocolate. Um, not so much getting the tea taste, but I am getting the chocolate and the raspberry, and it kind of has this this smooth, kind of creamy, yum yum taste to it. I mean, it it absolutely tastes like what a raspberry ganache would taste like. Um, I'm digging it. You know, it it tastes good to me. That was disgusting. All right. <laughs> To be honest, I haven't had a ganache in so long. I don't remember what a ganache is supposed to be besides gross. Um, the ganache isn't gross. When it's done right, a good ganache is amazing. Sure. With your chocolate and that cream, because you've melted your chocolate in the cream, and it's got that creamy chocolatey, and then if you add fruit to it, like raspberries or strawberries or whatever, oh my gosh, it's just freaking amazing. And that's, this is just a cup of hot yum yum for me. It's just gross. The, the raspberries, the raspberry is too strong. It doesn't even taste like raspberries. I disagree. I think it tastes amazing. I don't know. It's just. Ugh. Remy, don't eat the clay. Remy. No, that's just, that's just gross. All right. Well, this is why we have both of us on here because you get two opinions, which sometimes match, sometimes don't. I think it's amazing. Um, if someone was to give me this cup of tea, I would drink it, I would be happy, I'd ask them what it is, and I'd stick a pin in it, and then I'd forget about it until, you know, much later in life. Will I purchase some of this? Probably not, but I really like it. It is yummy. If I didn't have, you know, 600 other teas up in the cabinet, I might purchase it. You think you only it. have 600? <laughs> The, no the next time they go on an international trip, I'm cleaning it out again. No, you're not. I oh, am. Yeah. No, I've already cleaned everything out in there sure. and repacked it. Sure. Oh, my God. Maybe, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll just renovate the kitchen myself. I'm having, I'm fixing to have to uh, go down to the cabinet underneath and uh, use it because I've run out of room. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming by and having a couple with Spencer and I today. Um, we appreciate that you've spent some of your busy holiday season with us, um, and we very much look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day number nine. Bye!